Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to be at home with the breath, instead of ready to jump away all the time. We're like little children who spend all our time running around outside. We hardly even know our homes at all. It's because when you're running around outside, you're exposed to all kinds of dangers, all sorts of discomforts. So come in here. At first, it may not seem all that comfortable because you haven't been here to clean it out for a while. But try to breathe in a way that feels good. Notice which parts of the body you can make feel good with the breathing and focus there. And then as those get more solidly established, you can spread out into the rest of the house. I knew a carpenter one time who bought a house. Would, the house had been pretty badly damaged. But he had the skills, he could fix it up. And so he fixed up one room, and he lived in that one room while he fixed up the rest of the house. And then gradually, room by room by room, he expanded his, his range until the house was entirely his, and entirely habitable. That's what you've got to do with the breath. Take one part of the body, make that your home. And then as that sense of ease can spread to other parts of the body, you can move into other rooms in the house too. And ultimately, you get so your whole body, as you feel it from the inside, is your home. That way, when illness comes, oh, it comes right here. It comes in part of your home. You're not s stricken someplace out in a street corner. You're in a place where you can rest, a place where you can gather your strength, and where you know your, all your resources are. As aging, illness, and death come, it's good to realize, okay, it's just in this home here that the problems are ha happening. You're not stricken someplace outside. And so you've got what you need. You're familiar with the place. You know that if one room is uncomfortable, well, you can move to another room. Because you've made the whole place habitable. So try to work on this sense of whole body well being. So if any part goes wrong, you have alternative places at home to go. And even when you get evicted from the house, okay, you've picked up a lot of good skills so that wherever you go, you know how to make a house of wherever you are, make a home out of wherever you are. Because the skills are the things you can carry with you. You can't carry your house around. But the skills are fixing up the house, taking something that may not have seemed all that promising, and turning it into something good. Those are the skills that you really be able to depend on. As John Lee says, when you develop discernment, then all you need is a machete and you can set yourself up for life. Otherwise, you can take some very basic tools, but if you've got skills, you can do a lot with those tools. So learn the skills of making this house into a home, and you find that they will serve you well wherever you go.